Good evening, and it's now time for the launch of the brand new One Day Special, and I am joined by Ruth and Christina. Lovely Hi, to see hello. you again, ladies. Lovely to see you. Um, now, oh, bless you, because I, I only met you for the first you time. Did. Well, both of you actually. Weeks last time, a few weeks yeah. ago, yeah. yeah. And so, as this is only your second time since you've been on, mm. do you want to tell us a little bit about your history, how you got to know each other, and how yeah, you've come to work to together? Christina. Well, we've known <laughs> each other for a long time. Yeah. In a personal way, way. Yes. Um, we've we met through crafting obviously but we've we've known each other outside of work yeah and then I went to work or work with um, craft stash practical publishing right and Ruth joined practical publishing earlier this year I did. so About six months ago yeah yeah and so now we've got you on for Chanda so do. Yeah. I now collaborate with Christina on mm -hmm. her products and on other products for craft stash as well yeah. marvelous now we've got some gorgeous products on the show for you I particularly love the one day special yeah. um, but Christina I know you're going to get set for the first demo, I am, yeah. so we shall see you in a short okay. while. Thank you, Christina. And so, um, do you want to talk, um, Ruth, about what we have got in this fabulous yeah. one-day special? I mean, there is so much in here. I think you're getting something like over 40 dies right. in total. So these dies will make fabulous hexagon boxes. Mm -hmm. They'll make hexagon frames. You've got everything you need to decorate those boxes. And you've also got a fabulous mandala set um, that fits perfectly into this hexagon yeah. um, to give you the most beautiful results with your boxes. So if you like to make personalized gift boxes, mm -hmm. um, if you like your Christmas presents to look that little bit special uh, under yes. the tree, then this is the way to go. And Christina's going to show you that you can't just make that one size right. how you well you can see next to me yes, how you can make them taller how beautiful you can make them but you know I think we said we've said this before to, to buy um, a gift box these mm. days can sometimes cost almost as much as a gift absolutely um, whereas if you can make your own boxes and you've got um, almost a wardrobe of different dies mm. to make different size boxes then you can save yourself you've got that initial outlay yeah but once you've made that you can save yourself so much absolutely and making your gift boxes of course. and making them personal absolutely well. and you make them again and again and yes. again of course now which board do you reckon I should start okay with? so this is the one for the box okay let's so if we start do that one first so okay. this is the base and of your box mm -hmm. and I know that there'll be people out there who have not seen those before saying well I need a different size mm -hmm. well Christine's going to show you that you don't need a different size Marvelous. and then you have mats and layers that will go onto that box and go around the edges of your box yeah and then we've given you some more layers that will give you stitch borders and then you've got lots of elements so you can decorate either for the Christmas or you can decorate them for the rest of the season so you've got flowers on there and we've given you warm wishes we think that covers um, all occasions mm. both Christmas and the rest of the yeah, year I agree yeah. I agree now this if you were to buy this individually this set of dies it's worth twenty-seven ninety-nine. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Okay. Then we've got this set. So this one is uh, your uh, hexagon frame. Mm -hmm. So here you can see you've got hexagons from the little tiny one all the way through to the really big one, and then on the back of that you will have behind that one you've got the actual uh, the the part that makes the frame as well yeah so okay. with this one you can make beautiful frame boxes that you can put pictures and things into mm -hmm. as well okay marvelous and then we've got one more here we go this is the lacy mandala so yeah so this is the mandala that goes onto the boxes these are absolutely beautiful yeah so you can cut out as you see you can cut out different patterns you can turn these into flowers mm. you can decorate your cards with them you can cut them in half again lots and lots we like the mm. dies uh, Christina's dies to be multi-use absolutely but you're not just going to use them once and put them away you're going to yep. use them over and over again brilliant and I think we should definitely see some samples so we've got some I mean there's a beautiful box here pa apologies me leaning it's all right. over. Let, me, let me pick Thank that you. one up for you look at it now this is going to get a nice gift in isn't, isn't it, it like you said this is, I mean this would be just as good as the gift that's in it absolutely wow yeah. and Christina's going to explain how that um, how that actually came to be and how you get your box to be Fantastic. tall like that. Fantastic, there we go, pop that over there. And then as you can see, we've got some little ones yeah. here. There you go, oh, thank you. This one's got the mandala on. Excellent, look at that, beautiful. Oh, this is nice. And this is your frame. So what a good idea. this is the idea. mandala frame. 
That is well, fab. Frame. No, I'm liking this. Look a bit a different, lot. aren't they? Oh, and don't forget, I mean, you can oh, use yeah. all your elements just for yep. your cards too. I think in some of these lovely boxes that Christie's made. Yep, I thought so. Aha. Uh -huh. There's really smart cards in, in there, there as well. Already. That is beautiful. So now, with your one day special, great bargain price, you can spread the cost on Flexi by two payments of £22.49. That's a £13 saving. And you're getting uh, 41 dies in total. 845. 567 is your item number now definitely worth mentioning the magazine yeah. box set because yes. um, this was launched literally was it a couple of weeks ago was it uh, yes only a couple of weeks ago yeah. yeah two or three weeks ago and this you get so many bonus goodies you do. don't you yep so you're getting over 50 pounds worth of product in wow. here so you're getting dies you're mm. getting Can an embossing folder you're getting some stamps and you're getting a paper pack that's got um, background papers it's got borders it's got tags it's got toppers mm everything that you can need uh, really unusual color tones in here I like it it is Christmas but we've given it a little bit of a modern spin yeah, if you like mm. and then I think you've got close on 70 well 78 projects there you go in there. Yeah. so I'll do a very very quick flick through um, cause, uh, but if you didn't see it last time this is well worth we were talking a lot weren't we Ruth last time about if you get cra crafters block yes <laughs> if you because lose your mojo and yes. or because like me if you've got so much stuff in your crafty stash yeah. you're overwhelmed you don't know where to start this kit yeah it's perfect. great because everything's there for you you don't really need to have anything else out maybe just some card blanks and some tape yeah uh, really nice for beginner crafters and if you're thinking now as I am oh wow I should be buying Christmas presents now yeah this would be a really good Christmas present for a crafter absolutely who's starting out yeah to allow them to make their Christmas cards for next year marvelous so there you go 50 pounds worth of bonus goodies was that correct yes in this collection and you're only paying 10 pounds and 98 pence for everything that you're seeing here and all of the inspiration 78 projects I love things like this they're yeah, brilliant fabulous absolutely uh, 046866 then we're moving along to the um, <laughs> we're great minds think alike <laughs> so I am post-it note queen clearly you are yeah. as well Ruth <laughs> Not queen, so number two. <laughs> queen number two <laughs> right so here we've got the solid overlay and uh, sorry solid and overlay number and suffix dies we have yes. <laughs> so these allow you to do all your special anniversaries your special um, birthdays <laughs> um, to do uh, maybe um, jigsaw cards for children with, yep. your, with your solid numbers you can make flashcards for children with them to help them to learn their numbers mm. um, so there's lots and lots and lots of different ways to use these so basically what you have is um, a really good sized envelope yeah and we've just been uh, talking to Nick in the um, in the green room and he's just cut some of these and he said they are the best size really? numbers he's ever come across um, so what we've done then <coughs> is given you an overlay so you can do your number plain if you want to or you can overlay it with this filigree pattern so you've got yeah. your female and your male there as well and then we've given you the, the um, I think are these prefix suffixes, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. So the st and the nud. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Because again, then it's about personalising, isn't it? It is. Absolutely. Yeah. So you can actually then, um, you know, once you've put somebody's age on a card, they know that you've made that card just for them. Absolutely. Or a, a Valentine's card just for them. So there's lots and lots of different ways to use numbers. I think, um, if, as a die collector having a set of numbers in your arsenal mm. is is an absolute must yeah um you would use them all the time absolutely so this is 24.99 and as ruth said these are a fantastic size they're a focal point aren't they um yep. 69 pence a die it works out i was going to say is it 30 36 dies yeah yeah 38 in 38 fact. dies Yay, yeah. even more maths is not doing well, well no, today don't worry, i can't <laughs> i rely on the voices in my head ruth <laughs> uh, so that's 24.99 173 and of course we can't just have the numbers we also need the letters as well so here you've got yep. your solid letters and again your overlay of the alphabet 52 dies in total that is amazing it isn't is it, it's amazing you've got your full alphabet in here and then you've got the matching overlays that you've got with your numbers as well so you've really got absolutely everything you need um, so there's nothing I think particularly for children there's nothing more exciting than getting a card with their name on yes um, and <laughs> this is a great way to do it um, so for all the family really or even at home decor you know doing the door panels Absolutely. for children um, craft room signs mm. so many different ways you can use alphabets 
I do like the overlay. They are it's a pretty. good size, these yeah. as well. But a no, yeah. nice little funky design on yes. these. Yeah, it is. It's just that little bit different. Um, and they are, I would say they're good... They're a good two inches tall. Yeah. Because it's difficult on the telly, isn't it, to tell. Each each uh, letter is, is probably a good two inches tall. Very nice. So, it's uh, yeah, they look really good when they're on a card. I'm going to ask my uh, producer if he can quickly do the maths, because if you've got 52 dies, this is 53 pence per die. I was going to say it's around die. 50 pence, yeah, isn't it? Amazing. Yeah, amazing. That's crazy. £27.98, pence, 230996. Then we've got our Thinking of You and Daisy Flourish. Again, um, now here you've got, let me see, how many have we got here? Six 16 dies. 16 dies in total, mm -hmm. isn't there? Um, we've got... No, that is. Well, I've we've, uh, it's a bit wrong on the... We can change that. Right, we'll count them and then we've, we've yeah, got it for 16 you. 16 in total. You've got 14 in the Daisy Flourish. Yeah. And then you have two in the Thinking of You. Excellent. Sorry, we'll yeah. change that. So you've got a lot a lot more dies than it <laughs> says on the screen. Anyway, you can see it, actually. Yeah. So we've given you all the different sizes of the Daisy, mm -hmm. or whatever flower you want it to be. Um, it's very popular now to make your own flowers. Um, so you can use any card type you like, any paper you like. You can use parchment with these. Mm -hmm. They will cut beautifully. Oh, yeah, and then you've got the flourishes and you've got all the centres and the leaves to go with them. Absolutely. And then, of course, you've got the thinking of you. Yeah, great sentiment to have in your arsenal. Absolutely. Uh, it covers so many different occasions. Yeah, I agree. Uh, £14.98. pence. Got a nice £5 saving on this. 295502. Then we go on to birthday wishes and rose flourish. Yeah. Okay. There so we go. this is, is uh, along similar lines, but this allows you to make the roses. Um, and then you've got that gorgeous sort of corner of leaves and you've got a little sprig there to go with it. Um, so along the same lines, 11 dyes that will make up individual flowers. So if you're into your flower shaping, you mm -hmm. know, with your ball tool and everything, this is a lovely way to do it. And then we've given you the words to go with it. Uh, you've got birthday wishes. Yeah. Um, it's a beautiful font, isn't it? It is a really nice font. They're, they're, it's sort of ultra fine. This is really nice because oh, this, this shows the roses made yes, up. Yes, aren't they beautiful? Yeah. Um, so you've got your leaves and your flourishes there. But yeah, it's a really fine font, so it looks quite sophisticated. Oh, I like that. Yes, yes I like a bit of that. <laughs> uh, 1498 765938. Then moving along, we have got our Happy New Year and Pearly Swirls. 11 dies in total on this one. So I really like the, these pearly swirls um, this is a really clever card that our, our Gwen one of our fabulous ladies who mm -hmm. spent a lovely hour with on uh, Thursday hi Gwen oh, um, lovely. made some cards for us um, so you've got these very very delicate outlines mm. and lines and of course Christina loves pearls and yeah. she loves swirls so we managed <laughs> to put those in so the little dots if you're not sure where to put your pearls we've given you an idea of where to put them right but they, again they are ultra fine these dyes they're beautiful oh and then uh, the and happy, then new, happy year. new year i love getting a happy new year card yeah i'm, I'm not very good at being organized for christmas <laughs> so i tend to send happy new year cards but i think also um it's sometimes nice to send happy new year's cards my husband's scottish right so they would prefer to have happy new year cards than yeah. christmas cards up in scotland yeah so yeah some really nice cards but i think the clock done with the this, yeah. with the pearls and then the happy new year with the um sorry the swirls mm. and then the um happy new year on the bottom i think that's a really clever it is, isn't it? way of using it yeah 1498 399 718 and then last but not least for now there's a lot more on the website we have got the um the bows i couldn't read my writing bows <laughs> and ribbon threading and you've got also a, a, a flourish gem sticker set there we go again lots of dies yeah there are so there are four ribbon um borders here so what we've done we've given you uh, borders that you can actually thread <coughs> ribbon through right. so if you run your ribbon in and out through the holes in these you will get beautiful borders mm. uh, they're ultra Ooh, fine love that one. um so but each one has got an area to thread ribbon through different widths of ribbon um, then we've given you the bows to go with them. Yep. Um, so you've got four sets of bows there, mm. uh, but in total you've actually got 12 dies. Okay. Um, so you've got the overlays for them, you've got the folded bows, straight bows, you've got your tails in there and your centres, and then we've given you some, some diamantic swirls. It yeah. wouldn't be a Christina show without a bit of bling, would Gotta it, really? Gotta have some bling. <laughs> She's a lady after my own heart. £27.97, pence. Uh, 313.979. Thank you very much, Ruth. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, so you can place your order either by giving us a call or, of course, you can check out on the website at hachanda.com.
www.ghostbusters.com. Um, yeah, we, we haven't covered everything that we've got on the show because obviously we want to crack on with the demonstrations. So get ahead on the website and see all the other lovely items that we have got. Um, if you've got any questions for Christina, maybe you've been making some of the projects from the magazine. We'd love to see what, you know, what you've done your own take on it uh, so you can send your pictures to studio at hachanda.com or onto facebook right then over to you christina okay well we're going to start with the box okay okay to use the box die you will need an a4 cutting platform it won't go through the smaller machines all the other dies will but the boxes won't okay. so this is your box die and to make the box, you're going to need to cut two. Right. So I've cut two pieces. Now, if you wanted to add your trellis work into your pattern, or even the mandala pattern, yep. this is when you would do it, while your card is flat. So you're just going to pop your, um, your trellis die into the card and run it through your machine. Mm -hmm. Now, if you take the next die down, which is the card element to the, the set, and I've got a piece of parchment there. Okay. So I'm just going to cut that. And then we'll we'll line the inside of that box lid right. with this. I love the size of this. It's a nice gift box, isn't it? It is. It is a nice box in. size. Yeah. yeah, it is. And it's surprising what you can get in it. I bet. Lots and lots of chocolates. <laughs> I bet in this this one. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. So there's the parchment cut, and that now is going to fit inside there so we just add a little bit of glue around the outside mm -hmm. here we go with the glue issues <laughs> <laughs> glue issues always <laughs> glue issues yep so, we'll use uh, have we got a pokey tool no we'll use Ruth's glue oh, okay this is better lovely okay because you're not going to see this bit are you no this not is the inside yeah, the box great. this yeah okay this is inside the lid so you're going to line that up and just stick it down. OK. Yep. Now, I know lots of people will be saying, well, if you've got a box lid mm -hmm. yeah. and the box base, both the same size, yeah. how are they going to Absolutely, work? Absolutely, yeah. So I will show you. So let me just pop the pin back in this. OK. And I'll put my glasses on. Do you want me to do it for you? Yeah. OK. So I'm going to fold all these score lines in to the box base. So this is the base that I'm doing first. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice and easy. All your score lines done. Yeah, all done for you. This is what I love about dies like this, because then you don't have to get your scoring board out. No, or all no measuring. the work is done for you. Oh, OK, so you fold that in So like you're that. just folding in these little tabs there oh, on yeah. the side. OK. Now, when you get Christmas cards, you sometimes buy them in packs with some string yeah. that have little pegs with them. OK. So keep your pegs because they come in very handy. Ah. OK. Is this for the glue? You yes. Hold it there. So yes. you're not having to stand there for ages. So, yeah. Uh. <laughs> so I'm putting that now face down and I'm opening the tabs again and I'm just going to put some glue on the little tabs. Yeah. So that's just on the tabs. That's all. Mm -hmm. I bet you can do make these quite quick, really. You can. Yeah. Are we fine to make to sell? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yes, yeah, an angel policy that you can, whatever you make, you can sell. Right. OK. So we're going to fold that little tab in. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring that piece up and we're going to stick a peg on it. And we're going to do exactly the same all the way around. Would you only recommend wet glue rather than tape? Double-sided tape? Uh, you don't, yeah, double-sided tape tends to dry out. Okay. And then eventually you'll find that your seams will split. Uh. So a wet glue or a hot glue will keep it together mm -hmm. because the last thing you want is to give this as a gift to somebody and the seams split mm. when you've given it. Yeah because they're going to think, what a rubbish box this is. <laughs> they might like the gift, but the, yeah. the box might not be up to standard. Mm -hmm. So I always use a wet glue. Yeah. OK, so now we can pop that on one side and we can just leave that to dry. OK. And we can come back to the lid. So we're going to do exactly the same with the lid. So we're just going to fold everything in. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
-hmm. And we're going to fold the tabs in exactly the same. Yep. Speed crafting. <laughs> and just fold the tabs in the same. They're all marked for you. Look, they've all yep. got little score lines there. So you don't have to worry about folding in too much or not enough. That's good. Uh, so details are on screen of course it's not just the box you're getting you've got all of those lovely extras the lacy mandala and the frame 41 dies in total 13 pounds off for your one day special price and it's excellent because you can spread the cost on flexi by two payments at, of uh, 22 pounds and 49 pence and it works out at one pound and nine pence per die so that's now dry, Alex. Brilliant. So I'm just going to pop that so it's okay. facing down and I'm going Let's to put the days. lid on top. Aha. Uh -huh. So is now the trick. if I fold in the opposite ends, mm -hmm. I can add my glue along there. And this is the little trick that makes your box lid yep. fit your base. Okay. Yeah, it's a good little trick. Just remember to do it, otherwise you'll be frustrated with yourself if it doesn't fit. Well, yeah, Jeanette, that works in the in the office mm. um, at Practical Publishing, made one. Yeah. And she said, I, I'm sorry, Christina, but she said it doesn't fit. And I said, oh, I said, you've not been watching my videos, yeah. have you? And she said, no, I haven't. But that's the little trick. And mm -hmm. you can do that all the way around. So we've done one side. Yeah. We'll do the other side now so that we know this side fits. OK. Just to give a little nod because we're really busy for the numbers and the alphabet as well, uh, which comes with that really pretty overlay. It's really lovely and they're nice. They're a nice size. They're a real focal point. Uh, so it's very, very nice if you can personalise all your cards. And you can use one without the other. Yeah. You know, you can use it, keep it plain for your mm. male cards. Um, use the overlays for your ladies' cards. Yeah. You can get two cards out of one by mm -hmm. saving what you've you've caught and using the the negative piece yeah, if you will good idea and um, so if you'd like to go for the numbers here they are just 24.99 item number is 173713 and as i said they're a really nice large side and then we've also got the letters so we'll give you the details there only fair only fair uh, <laughs> uh, so these are 27 pounds and 98 pence you've got 52 dies 230996 is your item number so though we've got your lid and your box base right. made to fit each other. We'll leave the box lid to dry just a little bit, sure. but we've lined it with some parchment. You can pop your card inside there now, put your lid on top, and you know that that will fit perfectly. Marvellous. Hopefully that glue has dried now. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So there we are. Yay! Perfect. Very, very nice indeed. So that's how you can make your lovely box. That's it. That's how you get your lid to fit your box, even though your dies are exactly the same size. Okay, okay. You could line that with acetate. Yes. You can line it with the parchment. You could put glitter card under there nice. to make it different. Okay. You can use some of the other dies as well to... This will just cut into your card. Mm -hmm. So you could cut those that into your card. Yep. And, and have another look for your mm -hmm. for your box. Fantastic. Uh, so what would you like to show us next? Do you want the card right? that goes in with it? That would be great. Okay. So let's just pop all these back and then we don't lose them. I need to get some of those, actually. They're very handy. They are. They come with the Christmas card. You probably see them in supermarkets. Yeah. Um, the string that you put your cards on, your little yeah. pegs to pop them in. Marvellous. While you're getting set, to tell you what, I'll have a little flick through the magazine. It does come to you with 78 inspiring projects and £50 worth of bonus goodies that you're not paying for, including... Uh, an A6 embossing folder, you've got some dies, coordinating images, uh, you've got some uh, card stock as well. There we go, so look, isn't that beautiful? Okay, and what I like is what it tells you what you'll need to make, but there'll be things that you've already got in your crafty stash, of course. Um, it's absolute step-by-step -step instructions. Beautiful design, oh, there's a little bit about Christina. Yeah, in there. Oh yes, that was amazing. That sold out from memory. That um, that's the the first of the society um, boxes. 
absolutely brilliant. So if you like this, it's a fantastic price, just £10.98, 78 inspiring projects, £50 worth of bonus goodies, all for £10.98. 046-866 is your item number. There we go. You ready to go? Yep. Lovely. Okay, so we've, we've got the one that creates the card base for you so that's this one mm -hmm. so i'm going to cut that again because that's what i'm going to create the actual card from Oops, give it a push yeah there you go okay okay yeah so we've got the card based on. Mm -hmm. Now, with a little scoreboard, I'm just going to make a score line on there. Yep. On this. So let's turn it round and we'll just use this top line to make the score line. And then we can fold that. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to fold it in, we're just making a bend in it. And then we can glue that. Oh, this is good. And add these two together. And then it can stand up. Yeah, and I've made them two different sizes, would you believe? Oh, whoops. Yeah. It doesn't matter. What we'll do... Get the other die. We'll get the die yeah, back. Yeah, it's fine. Just trim off the excess. OK, so that's the die I've used. No, it's not. So we'll use... Um, it must be this one I've used. Never mind, we'll use this one. OK, so we'll just put this through and make it a different size. OK. Do you need a bit of tape or is it all right? No, it's fine. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Hopefully that'll go through the two. It mm. should do because yeah. it's just a plain die. It's the intricate ones yeah. that, that need a little bit more coaxing. Okay. So there it is. Put that oh, die yes. up there. Don't want to lose this one now. No. And we'll just trim that a little bit where not it's not problem. quite cut. Um, now, what we've got on the show, pretty much everything, they're all new configurations, all new bundles, so if you missed out on anything um, previously, some are brand, brand new as well. So, with the other layers that you've got, you can then layer up your card, you can add your trellis if you want, so you would cut your trellis die mm -hmm. and your, your trellis pattern yep. and add that to your card. I like that, yeah. Um, or you can alternate, alternate your colours and layer up your little yeah. card. So we'll do that, but we'll do that with some foam tape just to make it a bit more interesting. Mm. And this one, where is it? This one would put the stitching in your die as you cut it. Right. That one will make, will make you a, a scallop in it. So you've got lots of choices on what you want, the patterns that you want. Absolutely. On your, on your card. So we'll just add this in. Mm -hmm. I like a bit of dimension. I do. Yeah. I do. So we'll pop that there. Now, of course, you could ink the edges on this. Right. You could um, stamp a pattern on it. You can do all sorts with it. Mm -hmm. You just need to, to decide what it is, is your preference, what yeah. you like doing. Absolutely. There we go. So we'll take that there. And then with the rest of the dies... Yep. We've cut the sentiment. Oh, which sentiment have you gone for? So we've gone for the one that's with the, the pack, okay. the warm wishes. Nice. That can go on there. And we can add in, um, if you wanted to use the mandala, mm -hmm. you could cut two of the layers with that and add that underneath. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And there you've got a really pretty card that you yep. can send to somebody for for a birthday or yep. whatever occasion you want to I send know, it. Warm Wishes is a really good one because it's it's generic. Yes, so it is. Yeah, that's a good one. So it could be anything. It, yeah, it suits any occasion, mm. male or female, yep. old or young. You can do whatever you want with it. Yeah, and that's really pretty if you layer that onto parchment. Oh, nice idea. Right now, you would obviously pick out the bits that are stuck in the middle. There. Mm -hmm. There we are. So we'll get them out. Yeah. That's a, such a pretty swirly font. It's I lovely, love the isn't W. It? Yeah. 
It's lovely. Mm, very nice. Now, another little trick, if you're doing a font like this, is to cut it three or four times and okay. stack them together. Oh, and like shadowing, drop shadow effect. Yeah, or or just make it thicker yes. and it stands out. It looks really pretty nice. when it's on your cards. So we'll just put a little bit of tape on the back of that. Now this, you can either stagger it well, yes, that's or nice. you can pop it down as it should be, yep. as it's, you know, as it's cut. Then you can add that to your card. Mm. Loving all these extra elements you get for the box. And of course, you know, all the extra elements you make your matching cards with. Yeah. And that can go on there. And all these different layers add a little bit more interest yes. to your card and give it some dimension. Now, if I was at home, I wouldn't leave those edges plain. OK. I would decorate them up and look what I've done. Oh, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> Stuck it on the wrong way, but never mind. But no, we get the idea. We, yeah, we'll just have it that way for a change. Well, that works. It stands up that way. It's all right. That's, that's, uh, that's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Thank you very much, Christina. That's lovely. And of course, inside it goes. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> nice little All gift. ready to send. Lovely. Thank you, Christina. I'll leave you for a second. OK. Um, so here is the Happy New Year die. You're liking this because it's a little bit different, isn't it? Uh, so you've got your Happy New Year, but you're also getting the Pearly Swirls. And this is 14.98 for these two. Uh, well, not just two. There's 11 sets of dies. 399718 is your item number. There we go. OK, so uh, <laughs> we're going to um, have a recap of the one day special. So we've tag teamed now. Ruth is back. Have, <laughs> I think that I do absolutely Fabulous, adore this gift box set. Yeah, it's I absolutely do too. stunning. Um, and you can make it as large or as small as you like. Yeah. You can get lots in it. Absolutely. So shall we go through the boards again so you can t tell yeah. us what we've got? Shall I just pop that down there? Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, Ruth. It's all right. Right, there we go. Let's start with the, the base. OK, so this is the actual box. So this makes the base and the top. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we all have our scoreboards and we all know how to make square boxes and rectangular boxes. Yeah. But there's no way I'd know how to make a hexagon box nope. like this. So to have a die that just cuts this for you and does everything perfectly. So you've got the box base and lid yep. in that one die, as Christina's just shown you. And then we've given you some um, fancy bits to go with it. So you've got that beautiful I love that overlay mm. with the filigree pattern on it it's gorgeous and then you've got the edge in there and we've even given you little fancy bits to add to your um, the sides of your box so these ones yes, here yeah the little bits to go around the sides of your box mm -hmm. and then you have all the different layers that you can put on and it's quite difficult to pick up on those but if you see they've actually got edges so you've got a stitched edge oh, you've yes. got a scalloped edge oh, yeah. um, on each of them just the big the big one at the back is the plain one right and then we've given you lots of decorative items both mm -hmm. uh, festive and for the rest of the year as well nice and then we come on to this so this is your um, hexagon frame so this is the base for the frame and it looks really complex but it's not right um, so that's your frame and then with that you actually get a whole set of hexagons great um, um, so and these are really nice there's some really modern cards about with um, almost like beehive patterns on yeah so these work for those as well okay um, so you get all those along with it as well still going still going yeah and then you've got your mandalas in there I think we missed a bit of the last one out but now we've got oh, those okay. and then sorry you've got your mandalas in there as well so you've got your mandala background yeah and then you've got the, the overlay and then you've got a smaller one with an overlay and then you've got the little ones with an overlay and if you look at these carefully and you start snipping in to them there are stars in there mm. uh, there's all sorts of little different details that you can pick up and snip away to give you lots of different effects absolutely and then I'm going to ask you to pass the samples again if I may okay yeah whatever you fancy beautiful we have a different one yeah this time. sure so you can make a small box like this um, so. or a slim box that's the yep. word and then oh the nice here we go and that's got a frame Thank in it you, as well Ruth. so th here we are there's the lid and then you've got Oh, hang on. I don't want it to Look how special. I, I think it's just caught. Has it just caught? I don't yeah. want to rip it. No, That's it. It's all right. Thank you. So and that's inside. got the actual frame, the box frame inside. Wonderful. Uh, made into a card. So, you know, sometimes it's really nice, particularly I think for weddings and things like that, mm. to give somebody something in a box like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Um, it 
a card in a box is always a bit more special, and isn't it? You can charge more if you're making to exactly. sell. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and we have to, to do show this a big one, one. This time. Yeah. Look at this. So you can extend it, and uh, I'm sure Ruth. Uh, sorry, Christina is going to show us how we yeah, can do that. Yeah, I think that. she will explain that. And obviously, the festive one of those. Yeah. Is just absolutely spectacular. Fantastic. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you. Uh, so forty-four pounds and ninety-seven pence. That's thirteen pounds off, and you can spread the cost. Two payments of twenty-two forty-nine. 845567. Then we've got our magazine. I mean, I just can't get over the value of this, Ruth. Yeah, I mean, over £50 worth of products. So in there, you're getting a set of dies, you're getting mm -hmm. a set of stamps, you're getting an embossing folder, and you're also getting a paper pack. Yes. Um, and when I say a paper pack, it's good quality paper. Um, it's got... Um, borders in there it's got corners in there it's got banners it's got tags yeah it's got toppers it's got everything you need and then you're getting over 78 projects yeah and the really nice thing is that the 78 projects are made with what you're getting with the box Absolutely. all you need is some basic supplies to go with it yeah so if you buy this for somebody pop them some tape in yeah pop them some white card blanks in Absolutely. great gift for somebody definitely yeah. and look these are your goodies the bonus goodies you've got your dies you're going to be getting your embossing folder. Embossing folder. Yep. So all of this that you're seeing adds up to and stamps. Uh, Fifty pounds worth of bonus yep. goodies and your papers. So you can sort of get the idea of the um, the, the colourways. Yes. Yeah. It's quite an unusual colourway. This. It is a festive collection. But rather than going for the general sort of, if you like, bright red and bright green, we've gone mm. burgundy and teal, which are very popular colours this year. Absolutely. So if you know, if you if you're like me and you're not a traditionalist at Christmas, mm. this really works, doesn't it? So nice. So uh, this is just ten pounds and ninety eight pence. Item number zero four six eight six six. Then we move on to the solid and overlay number and suffix. Um, and these are a really fabulous size, they really are. And I think I adore the overlay, I think it's really pretty. Yeah, this is a really clever idea. So you've got your numbers, you've got all your numbers there, um, and your suffixes. So you work 21st, mm. um, 22nd, Absolutely. 23rd, yeah. you know, so you've got your suffixes there and some. Um, uh, Ordinals, yeah, Ex exclamation mark, marks, question marks, like that. commas, yeah. all yeah. of those. All yeah. those sort of things. <laughs> <laughs> punctuation was the word I was That's looking it. for. Some punctuation. Um, but it's, they're, they're just really a really clever way to mm. personalise a card yeah. um, for somebody. Uh, you know, we've got shaker cards here done. Oh, um, yes, here. We've got like 2020 Happy New Year, the shaker card. We've got a beautiful Christmas 25th wedding anniversary oh, card there. Nice. Um, yeah. So it just makes them that little bit more special. Absolutely. Twenty-four ninety-nine. What did we say this was per die? Sixty-nine, 69 pence. Sixty-nine pence. Yeah, yeah, lovely. One seven three seven one three. And then of course we need to have the alphabet to go with it. Uh, again, you're getting the overlay and the actual solid. Yeah. But have a look. These are fabulous. So size. again, probably around two inches, if not a little bit more, um, yeah. with each letter. And then these fabulous overlays. But as Christina said before, and I did pick the, the couple of cards out. Oh, go for it. Um, Let's to see. show. So this this card has been made by cutting the the word hugs out of some paper. Yeah. Which has actually been stamped on. Okay. So that's the, if you like, the positive. Mm -hmm. What has been done then is ah. that negative has then had the overlays put in. That's a good idea. So you've got two cards out of the one cut. Haven't you? See, no basically. waste. We like a twofer here yeah. at Hachanda. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, really good idea. And and then you know, Christmas cards, very simple, mm -hmm. but very effective Christmas cards. Absolutely. Um, an alphabet does everything, doesn't it? Personalization. Names, personalization. Yeah. Uh, door door hangers. Um, um, it's very popular like now for plaques. children to have plaques on the wall yeah. with their names on mm. for when babies are born. So many things you can do with an alphabet. Also, I think you know so many more n unusual names are, are coming yes. out. You yeah. know what I mean? See, my my granddaughter's called Tori Louise. Oh, lovely! And you can't get anything with Tori Louise no. on it. So these can sort now. of things great for me. <laughs> Absolutely, twenty-seven pounds and that's such a nice name. Uh, yeah. Twenty-seven pounds and ninety-eight pence. Two three zero nine nine six. We'll just show you one more, and this is the Thinking of You and the Daisy Flourish. 
um, and again you'll find these so useful yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. thinking of you uh, there are cards that we have to make that we don't like to make mm. um, and thinking of you just says it all really it and sometimes I think it was really nice just to send somebody a card to say I'm actually thinking yeah. about you it yeah. doesn't have to be an occasion no. just to say you know you're no. in my thoughts sort yeah of thing. maybe somebody's having a bit of a hard time yeah. so yeah. I think it's a really useful sentiment that and then to have the flowers to go with it yeah um, I love daisies um, so to be able to make my own and sort of fancy them up with this mm. I think is just great wonderful and there you go look at that lovely font on the thinking of you 14 pounds and 98 pence 295502 thank you very much Ruth you're very welcome and here's a quick reminder again of the magazine because it's just too good a bargain to miss you've got 78 inspirational projects um, and you are getting dies and stamps and uh, basically it's £50 worth of bonus goodies for £10.98. Uh, 046-866 is your item number. Okay, over to you. Okay, I thought we'd have a look at this intricate little thing that yeah. people think, well, how what on earth, earth do I yeah. with that? Okay, so it is this die and it will create a frame for you mm. but you will need to cut this twice okay okay so there we've got it cut twice now all the little score lines are done for you so you're going to fold that in along all the score lines mm -hmm. on both pieces again very easy all the work yes, is done is. for you yeah you've also got the little tabs yeah so you're going to need to fold them in as well ah I always admire, you know, how people come up with the measurements and the, for this to create the dies. I'm just, <laughs> I wish I had a brain like that, but sadly I don't. But anyway, I enjoy the dies once they've been done. Mm -hmm. It's nice to, rather than stand there and measure it all yourself, it's nice to have the die mm. that you can just put in the machine and it cuts it all for you. Yeah. And that was how all this started. I used to, I still do, mm -hmm. make a lot of five by seven cards. Yeah. And every time I make cards, I stick loads of things on it. Yeah. I never know when to start. Mm -hmm. But of course, they wouldn't go in envelopes. Of course, yeah. So I thought, well, I'm going to have to measure some boxes. So I did. Mm -hmm. I stood and measured the boxes. And then I thought, how easy this would be if I just had the die mm -hmm. that would do all this for me. And that was the very first one that was launched if you will that was born it was the five by seven complete yeah. card and box right. die set so same again so you need to cut two you need to cut two you yeah. need to do exactly the same to both of them to get them to fit yep so again we're just folding in the tabs And would you use glue again or again your red liner tape? I would I don't use red liner tape. So, I okay. do have it. Yeah. Um but I don't use I don't use double sided tapes much of any description. Okay. I'm usually a heat gun. Um glue sorry, gun. a glue gun. Yeah. Glue gun girl. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with the flowers that I like to mm. add. I don't want them falling to pieces. Yeah. So yeah, it's a glue gun for me, I'm afraid. Right, so we've got two now folded the same. Lovely. So we're going to put them one on top of the other. Right. So that they're like this. Okay. And you're going to glue those in place. Okay. Mm -hmm. So talking about glue guns, we'll use a glue gun. And we'll pop that back in there mm -hmm. so that they are glued nice and neatly together. Okay. Now, if you wanted to put something in the centre, yep. this is when you can use the um, filigree yeah. trellis from the other die. So we can pop them in there yep. and nice add them together. Extra. Yeah. Um, if you do have anything in your basket, do make sure you, you're checking out. Then you've secured all the lovely goodies that you want and you can chill out and relax and watch the demos. Now, the mandala die will also fit into the centre of this box right and that makes a nice change so we'll just pop that on there so there's the mandala I haven't glued it together but that will also fit in the middle of this box okay if you wanted to add that pattern instead I like that pattern yeah it's yeah nice. okay so now we can pop this into the center of this mm -hmm. 
Make sure it lines up. Yeah. And we'll add that in there. Nice. Now we can add all these in. If you look at all the little tabs, mm. all the little tabs need, will need glue on them. So you're going to fold these under right. like this. Yeah. And then you're going to fold that one over the top. Ah. And with the glue that you've added to the tabs and the glue that you're going to put along the bottom here, yeah. that will keep that fastened together. I see. So we'll add some glue there. Yep. Yeah. And some there. And we'll fold that one under. Okay. And then we'll fold this one under. And you make sure that they're nice and lined up together. Mm. And again, you'll have to wait until your glue sets up. Yeah, a little bit. You're going to go around and do this to all the little pieces. Yeah. Do you want me to hold them? Will that be helpful? Yeah, because it's coming undone again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. There we go. Teamwork. Now, eventually, it will set up. Oh, definitely. And you'll have a beautiful frame then that will fit inside your box. Right. So let me put some glue on these tabs here. Okay, and then when you want to turn it around. Yeah. Hopefully, is that right They'll now? be glued. Yeah. It's not as easy to put your pegs on this bit. No, I was going to say. Hopefully that has grabbed. Yeah. Lovely. So we'll pop that under there. Mm -hmm. I love looking into these sorts of boxes. They're really pretty, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. they are. Mm -hmm. And there's so many nice things you can add to these to to make them extra special yeah. for the people that you're giving them to. Absolutely. There we go. Is that stuck now? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I can keep swizzling around if I'm being helpful. Hopefully. Well, you get the idea yeah, anyway. You do. The, the glue's taking its time setting up under the, the lights, but it, you get the idea. Absolutely, yeah. See, that one's not stuck. Uh, right, just quickly while you're doing that, um, let's show the numbers because we have these available for you. There we go. So you're getting the solid and the overlay. They're ever so pretty. They really are, especially the overlay. But and they're a really, really good size. And where was that sample? Ah, yes. When I say the size, I mean, check this out. That's your 19. So you can really personalise. Now, we're approaching 10% of the stop gone on our numbers. They're a beautiful focal point. There we are. Let's give you this one as well. Uh, £24.99 here. 173713. And then the letters. Let me just put that to one side. Are here. This one with the overlay and this one is your solid and again much bigger than the actual packaging let's show you the size look at that I mean you're getting 52 dies in total which is just absolutely excellent uh, now 10% of the stock has gone here as well 27 pounds and 98 pence 230996 is your item number is the balloon glue not playing ball? No, I'm, I've, I've done it a different way. I've stuck all the, the, the pieces down with the tabs on it first, but they're still not sticking. So let's just put some glue on it. Some hot glue. OK. So we'll stick that down there. Yeah. Oh, that's a good way to do it as well. Well, it just pops back up for you then. Yeah, then. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll put some on there. Yeah. And again, we'll fold that down. Mm hmm and now we can put a little bit on the tabs. Yeah. And then we can fold this piece underneath. Put nice. a bit on the bottom there. Okay. Yeah. And we can now fold that piece underneath. That's better. Yeah. Okay. We're approaching 10% of the one day special. Uh, that's now gone and we loaded a lot of stock. So we knew it would be very busy. Yeah. Good, that's really coming together now. Yeah. You might yeah. end up with glue strings on it, but a quick blast with your, your hair dryer yeah. will melt the glue strings and get rid of them for you and neaten up your design then. Yeah. So there we are, that's better. Yay! We get there in the end. <laughs> it's always live TV, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, again, a quick reminder, if you've got anything in your basket, do check out and then you know it's yours and you can watch the demos. Now, you can dress that with your flowers. Yeah. You can add your mandalas on there, mm -hmm. your, your smaller ones, this one. Yep. 
you can put that wherever you want and you can add your sentiment in right and that then will fit inside your box and be ready to give to whoever you wish to give it to mm -hmm. You know, dress it up with more flowers, make yeah. it as pretty as you want, make it for Christmas or a birthday or mm -hmm. or whatever else you want to make it for. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then when you've made your box, that fits in there perfectly. Mm -hmm. And that's now ready to give. Oh, that is so lovely. Look at that. Now, what we've done with another one, we yeah. did it with the Christmas one. We've actually folded a ribbon over and put it on the back. Just wondering if it's... It's in a red box, uh -huh. this one, I think. Ah, right. So what we've done, look, is we've Pretty. put a ribbon on the back. Now that can be hung on someone's wall Absolutely. for Christmas. It's really, really pretty. Mm. Very nice indeed. So we've got about seven minutes. Is there anything? Right. Oh, all right. What are we doing, Sandro? Well, all right. We'll do. We'll do a quick recap. Okay. Okay. So, so, so otherwise we, we might like go. Ah, oh, oh. sneaky crafty. <laughs> okay, fine. Fair okay. enough. Okay. Um, okay, so have a look on the website because we've got, as you can see, so many other fantastic goodies. Um, now, so here, uh, so we'll be coming back to the one day special. Yes, do you have anything relatively quick you can do? Or if not, don't worry. Yeah, we can cut the mandala. We can that sounds good. That is Perfect then. So I'll just do a quick recap of the one day special. Um, you are getting 41 dies in total. Look at these beautiful dies. Um, so if I show you the board just very, very quickly, these are all the dies that you're getting. Um, do have a look on Rewind. So this is your actual box base and box lid. And then you've got all of these uh, lovely, um, just to um, decorate it, of course, and all your extras. Look at all of this and the warm wishes. I do love that warm wishes. It's a really pretty one. Then you've got your mandalas, which um, uh, Christina's just about to demonstrate for us, like so. And then you've got all of your octagons, all these frames. Look at these gorgeous and uh, we've just seen that this is how you can make that lovely um, box that you can look into well in fact here's a nice sample isn't that glorious I must get the big um, the big um, gift box again because this is just awesome look at that so you can extend it there you go um, and then gosh what I'm imagining what you could get in there amazing but so many beautiful samples sorry and then of course you can also it's, you know, it's for your cards as well. Have a look at that. Use the extras for your cards. Beautiful. Uh, and then there's one more here as well because I hadn't shown these. Stunning. Now, um, you are saving £13. You can spread the cost two payments of £22.49. Uh, or you can go for it outright at 4497-845-567. Do call us or, of course, you can check out on the website. Here's the magazine just to give that another little nod because it's such good value let me tell you um, for £10.98 pence, you've got a magazine with 78 projects in but you're getting £50 worth of bonus goodies that you're not paying for and they are relevant to the projects in the magazine 046866 all right then is that all right christina okay marvelous so there's your mandala die well, like it's in six pieces <coughs> so you've got all your back ends you 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 base things yeah and then you've got all the little flowery bits that go on top cool okay so we'll use some flock card this is really pretty card mm. and we'll use this as our base it's nice it's like velvety on it top. is it's lovely yeah. okay so we'll put that in there and then we'll use these to go further down okay so we'll make sure that that goes through the machine. Yeah, it will. OK. It's nice when you've got a large die cutting machine because you can cut so many things at once. Yes, you can. Yeah. And then that's helping you with your batch making. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, your mandala does come in with the one day special as well. Now, that's quite pretty to just use on its own. Isn't it? Yeah. Like this. Look, a beautiful oh, card. Very nice. Okay. Yep. So we've got that there. Those are all the pieces that we need. Mm -hmm. Get that in the bin. And then we'll cut the filigree layers from the white card. Now you will need the base pieces in again. Okay. So you're better off really cutting those first. Yep. 
um, to make sure that they've they've cut because these are very filigree absolutely very so if detailed. they don't yeah if they don't touch properly they won't cut mm -hmm. so we'll cut these first when we can get it, it to go through the machine yeah. <laughs> okay and then i mean just look at the detail in these dies aren't they pretty look at that nice okay there we are okay so they cut very easily yeah there's the other one. Now what we need to do is pop these into the centre so that they line up. Mm. And to make sure that they don't move, you can tape those down with yep. a little bit of tape if you want. But we'll just take a risk. Are we going to take a risk? We'll wing it. OK, it's a I think that went in all right. I think we're all right. <laughs> yeah. Risk it for a biscuit, as yeah. I would say. Fingers crossed. Okay, it looks good, looks good. Oh, it's not cut there, look. Okay. So we'll just pop that through again and we'll just shim look, it a little bit. Yeah, that's always good. Uh, we have just a couple of minutes left, okay. Christina, but it'd be nice to see this, won't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Has it done it? Yeah, let's just take it out the, the die. I love that crisp sound, that. Yeah. yeah. And then you'll need a pokey tool just to get all that out. Yeah. I won't cut the others. No, that's all right, because we're running But you can time. use either one of those on their own, mm. or you can layer them up. Oh, very and pretty. And that makes a really pretty background for your card. Absolutely. You can put that on a square card. Oh, yeah. You can make that into a card itself. In fact, there's a lovely one here. Yeah. Look at that sample. Yeah. And that's just using it on a card. Mm hmm Stunning, but of course also designed to go on your beautiful octagon gift boxes as yes, well. Yes, it will. It'll go yeah. on the top of your boxes or mm -hmm. it will fit on your card. But that is really pretty. Yeah. And then you've got your other Ooh, pieces like that, that yeah. you can layer on the top. Stunning. Oh, we've not got the white layer on that, that's but we right. can leave that there. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a nice decoration for your cards. Absolutely. Loving this. Uh, so the details are on screen, all of those dies, 41 dies in total for £44.97 pence. or of course you can uh, spread the cost to payments of £22.49, 845.567. So they, every, people at home are going to have so much enjoyment with these beautiful oh, yeah. dies, oh, definitely. aren't they? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And when you, when you think about buying a set of dies like this mm. and making things like this, yeah. I mean... You look at these and think that, no, I couldn't do that. But you can. Christina's you proved can. that you can. Absolutely. Yeah, so definitely. what do you reckon you'll be doing in the next hour? Eight o'clock. Well, well, we'll cover the box yep. and we might just do the extension on I know, it. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, because that, that looks really amazing. <laughs> yeah. It uh, is. Yeah. And just let me tell you that in this oh, one... We're running out of time, okay. Okay. All right, well, we'll do it at six. We're, we're it'll sure be a surprise. <laughs> a surprise at eight o'clock. Thank you very much, Christina and Ruth. You're welcome. Thank see you, you after this.